This is Kevin Mayo, your American correspondent for Real Ale Craft Beer, and today we're doing Ruckus Brewing Hoptimus Prime. You gotta admit, it's a really cool name, Hoptimus Prime. Did a little research on this, and it's kind of a convoluted story. Looks like this was originally brewed by a company called Legacy Brewing out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Um, guess it had a fairly good reputation. I've never had it before. It is a double uh, IPA, 9% alcohol. Looks like they closed shop around 2009, and this Ruckus Brewing Company was supposedly Ruckus Marketing, and they bought basically the uh, recipe and actually hired the old head brewer, and they're making some, what they're doing is they're brewing brands that have kind of gone out of business that are really good. They got three bottles, I mean three styles right now. Uh, this one was bottled on 718, just saw it. And so, then I looked a little further, and they were brewed in New York at a brew pub, but then over here I see brewed and bottled for Ruckus Brewing Company by Mercury Brewing out of Ipswich, Massachusetts, it's, which is the old Ipswich Ale. And again, they were a company that were bought by one of the one of the participants, and then they doing they also brew Clown Shoe. So it's kind of all over the place, but the original recipe is there. It's uh, supposedly really hopped up. Like I said, it's a double IPA. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a crack. And we'll go ahead and give it a pour and see what we got. We're using a sniff tip just because. Looks like a typical double IPA or an imperial IPA. Quite orangey. About one finger of just slightly off white head. Fair amount of combination going up through it. It's clear. You can see right through it. But yeah, I got a lot of bubbles just going right in the middle of the glass, just streaming right up. Let's do the aroma. They got pineapple. I do get them a little bit of malt. I'm getting uh, that little bit of banana. Little, uh, I do smell the alcohol. A little bit of citrus. And all this is fairly faint. It smells like a very typical double IPA though. Um, nothing off-putting and nothing really radical about it. The aroma is fairly faint. It, it's not, sometimes you'll pour a double IPA and you can just smell it coming up off the glass. Well, it wasn't like that. I had to work a little hard at it to pick it out. But we had, you know, we get a little bit of malt background. You get a little brown sugar. I said pineapple, citrus, so let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we got. We got, I'm actually a little disappointed at this point. I get a little bit of malt. I'm getting a strong bitter at the end. That's about it. And I have this, this is only cool. It's not ice cold, so it's, it's not the cold killing the flavor. Again, a little bit of like bread. And bitter. I'm not getting any of the other tasting notes that I would have expected. So, I am getting some sweetness now. Um, there's probably a little bit of uh, dextrose in there to balance off the alcohol, make the yeast work a little harder. Yeah, I'm really not picking up much of anything else for flavor. I'm pretty disappointed in this beer. I thought that it would be a nice one. I saw it sitting on a shelf, and I thought I said, "Boy, this sounds really good." Hotimus Prime, double IPA. Uh, really maybe we found a nice diamond in a rough people haven't heard too much about so um, it is uh, a very typical uh, double IP I should say typical double IPA it, it is fairly West Coast ish in the fact that I'm getting mostly bitter and not that else but it's not even that really sharp bitter it's just kind of a bitter aftertaste it's got a fairly strong IBU on it somewhere I got to give it a score because I'm just rambling at this point uh, 
70 out of 100. Not a real winner here. If you guys have tried it, let us know. And until next time, keep drinking.